We're gonna go over Gordon Ryan's Half Nelson series and the do's and don'ts. Uh, the reason why I'm going to be going over this a little bit more is because during ADCC 2022, uh, we've seen a lot of other competitors do the same thing. And I think of all the competitors, I think Gordon Ryan did it the best, right? So I took a couple clips to see the do's and don'ts, and uh, let's go over them now. So if we reverse this a little bit and we take a look, notice how Gordon Ryan has half a hook in and he has his right hand right at the armpit. What's very important about the uh, half Nelson is that for Gordon Ryan, he usually keeps his half Nelsons around the armpit and slightly beyond the armpit. And just take a look at Gordon Ryan's left arm that's going to be coming through. Uh, when his left arm comes through, you're going to notice that it's going to be almost like a bar right across the uh, competitor's head. Um, also, one another, another thing to pay very close attention, uh, attention to is that his left arm is palm facing up. This allows him to really drive that elbow down and lift his right elbow up to cause that shearing motion that forced your opponent to fall down. Uh, here's another example of him doing it again in the same fight, except that this time around, when the opponent posts, pay attention to Gordon Ryan's right leg and how he uses that as leverage. Um, Notice how his left foot is uh, in, but his right foot is out. The opponent, if you pay attention right over here, the opponent's right hand is out trying to protect against the hook, right? And you're gonna notice that Gordon Ryan is gonna use that right foot of his to push off and force, add more pressure uh, for the competitor to fall down to his left side. Now, another thing I want you to pay attention to is where Gordon Ryan's left foot is. Traditionally, if you have the left hook in, uh, it, it will be between the legs. What Gordon Ryan does here is he tries to do the body triangle and his foot's all the way past the hip. And you're gonna see that the guy he's going up against is actually using his right hand to push that foot off. You see that? And once he pushes that foot off though, it's already almost too late because that hand placement uh, with his hand being down is going to allow Gordon Ryan to really weave that half Nelson through. And again, he's going to continue to push off and really force that head to go right in between the legs. So if you're doing it correctly, that uh, Gordon, uh, pay attention to Gordon Ryan's left arm, he's going to drive that elbow straight down, forcing the head to go in between their own legs, which will give him essentially the back take. There we go. See that? And then of course, successfully completes the back. Um, Another example is here. He's going to do it again. He threatens it, which gives him the hand and uh, hand choke because the opponent now is aware of his half Nelsons. Uh, here's another example of him doing against the Hulk, uh, Lucas Barbosa. He's going to do the same thing. He, he rides again. Pay attention to the bar across the head. Here, you're going to notice Gordon Ryan's left arm is slightly beyond the armpit, as opposed to the last clip I showed you. His left arm is going to be closer more towards uh, Lucas's head and his uh, right arm is gonna be a bar again across the back of um, the Hulk's head. He's gonna again drive the right elbow down. He's gonna pull him up. Here you can see that Gordon is actually pulling more with his left arm and his right arm is actually stationary. Uh, but his left arm is gonna do more of the work in this instance because Gordon wants to pull him to the left side. And again, this gives him the back take. Um, here's another example of Gordon going against uh, Jimenez, right? Take a look here. Again, he has, let's take a look here. He has the uh, seatbelt and in a points scenario, pay attention to what uh, his opponent's doing. His opponent doesn't want Gordon to get full hooks in. And so what he's going to be doing is preventing Gordon's right leg from weaving through. But what that gives him is pay attention to where uh, his opponent's arm positioning is. Gordon has the perfect setup now for the half Nelson. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to that. He's gonna, his arm's gonna be really paying attention to the leg, but this gives Gordon the half Nelson. And again, the setup is always the same. The arm that's underneath your opponent's arm is going to be palm down, and the arm that's gonna be behind your opponent's head that creates the bar is always palm up. And the mechanics will be the same. Uh, Gordon's going to be pushing off with the leg here. In this example here, Gordon actually uses the leg that's inside the, uh, in between his legs as the uh, push off leg. See how he's pushing off and forcing uh, Max to fall down to his side, you see that? While still pulling down and pushing with his arms. 
there we go and of course he's, he succeeds with the back take um here's another example of him with the pedro but here's an a, a, an interesting observation i've noticed that gordon does here so instead of traditionally uh when we're on the back here like this um what gordon does is actually uses the half nelson to turn them into mount he does not want to uh he does not want to take the back here for example so he's i mean obviously for situations like this i think he actually tries to call his submission out so maybe he was forcing that out instead of simply just taking the back so here he's used he's weaving the arm through your opponent notice how um pedro turns to his side but instead of uh, gordon simply just going to for the back take he weaves the arm through grabs the back of pedro's head and really drives it down so it, you can use the half nelson also to maintain positions uh, as you can see here so if you're going if you're staying in mount and you want to remain on the mount and your opponent's trying to turn to the side you can definitely use this as an example like that yeah there we go um another example is him against uh coach right jacob coach so notice how jacob is on his side here uh i mean traditionally again like i said we can always go for the back but notice how he weaves the arm through and goes right for the right for the head and turns him to the side you see that uh, another example is here is him against pedro again here he threatens a cross face and he's really really driving that cross face through and notice when the when he's preventing the cross face the arm comes up which gives Gordon the ability to weave that arm through again and force him back down. Another example, um, I think a perfect example was uh, Juan Alvangera uh, against uh, Kennedy Maciel, right? Pay attention to what uh, Juan has. He has the body triangle locked in though this time. So traditionally, all the other ones you've seen were hooks in, but you can also do the body triangle. Um, with the body triangle though, Kennedy is standing up to kind of force Juan to fall down. But if you really watch, Juan notices this and he has his arm set up for the half Nelson. So pay attention to his right arm, pay attention to his left hand. Again, the palms facing up. He's going to use that as a bar behind Kennedy's head. He's going to drive the head right between the legs like we all spoke about and really forces Kennedy down, right? And this is a perfect example of a really, really good use of a half Nelson. But in the same fight, which cost him the match, I think, um, notice how he has here the body triangle on, on Kennedy, but instead of the half Nelson, he has double underhooks. Um, in my opinion, the double underhooks is not as good as the half Nelson, and we'll see why. Because right now, he has nothing stopping... Um, he's essentially falling off Kennedy's back right now. So uh, the reason behind that is Kennedy has the stability, has the base to kind of frame and to push and to shake. Uh, whereas with the half Nelson, if you look at the half Nelson, he really, he's, with the head being driven between the legs, there's no base. He has to really, he has to really kind of cave in like that. Um, but you pay attention here to the double underhooks. You, uh, Kennedy has the ability to pull on Juan's head. If you take a look, he, he's trying to shake Juan off. Now, pay really close attention to what uh, Kennedy does with his right foot. Uh, traditionally, if you have the body triangle, the body triangle only works when the knee line, Juan's knee line right here, is um, on the outside of Kennedy's legs. But with the knee line in between now, Kennedy actually has the ability to kind of turn Juan. Notice how now Kennedy's conframing on Juan's head, kind of. Look, pay attention to that. See that? Now he's pushing Juan's legs all the way out. And now he has the ability to turn Juan and convert his body triangle into a close guard now. Pay attention to, um, if we pay attention to the way uh, Gordon does it, anytime Gordon feels like he's about to lose a position, he'll immediately frame and continue that pressure. This really forces the opponent to not have the ability to pay any attention to um, framing or uh, uh, trying to get you off other than simply just trying to stabilize the position themselves see that like he's trying so hard not to fall over that he has no ability to do so um, and I think applying this will be a wonderful tool in your arsenal and I I've definitely been applying it and I think it works wonders for me